Hallo en welkom. Dus, um, I won't say this episode so much, but I don't really keep track of that, honestly. I can look it up, but nobody really gives a shit. Um, today we have the debut album by the glam metal band uh, Molly Crew. Not a big fan of Molly Crew. Uh, I did say, I believe in the past, that Molly Crew is the only good, uh, what's the new metal? The, you know, think of shitty genres. Um, the only good glam band, which I suppose, or they're the best, or whatever. I really don't care about the genre, honestly. So, Molly Crew never really did it for me, too. Although, I would consider them okay, I guess, you know. I did say that once, so there we go. G gotta, gotta stick with it, I guess. Um, yeah, this is a relatively short album. It's 38 minutes long, 34 minutes if you have the Electra version for some reason, like they like they cut a track out for some reason uh the first track is live wire uh it has a pretty anthemic riff uh you know it's kind of reminds me of wild side or something from uh, girls 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 something like that uh the vocals are not really annoying you know not as bad as on other tracks uh you know who's the singer of this band uh finn's new i believe not, not a big fan of his uh, screaming, he just sounds kind of like a childish monkey or something, like a childish, um, you know, person that's just uh, got, got a contract, you know, got, got a record deal by accident or something, by just running out and maybe singing a few, a few, a few good notes in, in tone, in key. That, that is how Vince Neil sounds to me. Like fucking hell, that's, that's probably a true story though. Uh, it's an okay opening track, um, it's probably one of, one of the band's better songs. Although I have to say that it does go downhill from there, you know, from the, from, from the debut singles, so there we go. Pretty heavy track, pretty wild, so, but I do think they did it a bit better later, but you know, that's debatable. Uh, then we have Public Enemy number one. I don't really like this track, you know, it reminds me of a shitty rap band and, or group, whatever. Uh, I just think that the lyrics are generic, uh, the song itself doesn't really have a lot of legs to stand on. It just kind of uh, rehashes what Livewire kind of tried to do and then just kind of miserably fails. It probably didn't work too that uh, Nicky Sick wrote it, this song together with Lizzie Gray, which I don't know, maybe one of the band members' original names, who knows, who cares. Uh, Take Me To The Top is cheesy as hell, uh, very mundane lyrics, very dull chorus, um, song doesn't speak to me, title is cheesy as hell, the song is cheesy as hell, so this is just a very bland kind of pop metal track I suppose. Not really my thing, although I do think that the 4th track does kind of succeed more in a way of having more melody, having more momentum in a way. Uh, so this is definitely one of the better songs I would say, but it's it's still really cheesy and still very like un metal. You you don't you don't have to be a full blown metal band for me to enjoy you, but like have a bit of consistency, like fucking hell man. Uh, then we have Peace with Your Action. This is just a bad song in my opinion. Uh, again, the lyrics are just atrocious. The song is uh, repetitive as hell. Uh, I just don't like the kind of sex sexual uh, innuendo that the song kind of has. I want a piece of your action, whatever you're doing. So I don't really like the song because, um, yeah, I, I don't do not like this track. And then we have Starry Eyes, which is kind of a better track, I would say. Um, yeah, you know, it's definitely better. Uh, still not love it, it's still really bland, still really dull, but I do think that the band is kind of trying to do something here, but it's just not working for me, honestly. Uh, stick to your guns, uh, this track is just rocking, you know, they go back to the more kind of live wire kind of style of the record. They go into a more basic formula here, which I do enjoy, although I I do just think this is a poor man's live wire version, but whatever. Uh, Come on and dance, uh, very generic pop anthem, uh, just a lot of conventional riffs, a lot of 
boring instrument playing, uh, Vince Neil's vocals are just balanced track, like they are on every track. It's three minutes long, so it's not really that memorable. It's just overall a very bland track and I did not like it. Uh, probably my favorite track of the album, together with Livewire, of course, must be Too Fast For Lost, which kind of goes into that Livewire mentality again. You know, I do keep mentioning that song, but it's pretty much like the only good song on this record, so really. Um, yeah, but it is kind of like a more rocking tune, it's pretty consistent, four minutes long, uh, it's pretty nice to listen to. It's it's, it's kind of an, an original side, but you know, it still feels like you're, you're cruising on a motor or something, blessing this song. That's a nice feeling, that's good by the band, and I do like that. And then we have On With The Show, and yeah, you know what I mean, oh, we gotta get On With The Show, we gotta continue making records, I suppose, not for me, but for their fans, I guess, so. You know, they can make it for me though, but I do not give a shit. Uh, Decent Closure, I did not hate it, but yeah, it didn't really do much for me, honestly. Overall, uh, Livewire is good, it's probably arguably their best song, uh, you know, from some of my Dr. Feelgood tunes, but... From this album, it's easily the best thing. Public Enemy is generic, take me to, to the top is cheese. Uh, Merry Go Rounds is uh, yeah, a guilty pleasure of mine, I suppose. It's kind of poppy, it's kind of very conventional, but I do think it's okay. Piece of Your Action is dated, uh, Starry Eyes is just very, very cheesy, but it does work in some way, but for the most part, it kind of fails. Stick to Your Guns is basic as fuck. Come on and dance, just pretty bad. Too Fast for Love is probably the best track on there, and on with the show is an okay closer. Um, I don't want to give this track or this track or this all a relative low all low rating, but there are some good tunes on this one. You know, it is okay. Um, it's pretty, it's it's average, but it's a little bit weaker than that, so I would probably give it like a 4.8. Yeah, there we go, final verdict, 4.8, so there we go. Don't really like this one, um, maybe you do love it, you know, let me know in the comments if you do enjoy this record. Uh, I personally don't, I don't really like it, but if you do, then let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you want me to review in the next video. Uh, yeah, let me know all the things in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.